Hi guys. Lam going to discuss about facial artery and its branches. The facial artery is also known as the external maxillary artery. It is anterior branch of external carotid artery arising in carotid triangle and supply face palate, tonsil, and nose. Here in the picture you can see commons carotid artery divided into external carotid artery and internal carotid artery. Here it's facial artery. So facial artery originate from external carotid artery. Let's see what are the branches of facial artery. Facial artery is divided into two parts. Cervical and facial. Let's see the facial part. The facial artery is the chief artery of the face. It enters the face by curving upward over the body of the mandible at the anterior inferior angle of the masseter. In the face it runs upwards and medially obliquely with a tortuous course. Tortuous course prevents the artery being getting stretched during movement of mandible or movement of muscles of face. It runs upward, 1.25 cm, across the cheek to the angle of the mouth, then ascends along the side of the nose, and ends at the medial cantus of the eye, as angular artery. Facial part contains four branches. Superior labial inferior labial dot lateral nasal and angular let's see inferior labial artery arises near the angle of the mouth supplies the labial glands the mucous membrane and the muscles of the lower lip Here in this picture you can see superior labial artery. Larger and more tortuous than the inferior. It follows a similar course along the edge of the upper lip. It supplies all of nose, nasal septum and upper lips. This is the lateral nasal artery. Ascends along the side of the nose. It supplies the ala and dorsum of the nose. Angular artery. This is the final and terminal branch of the facial artery. On the cheek the artery supplies the lacrimal sac and orbicularis oculi. It ascends to the medial angle of the orbit. It ends by anastomosing with the dorsal nasal branch, the ophthalmic artery. Let's see cervical branches. Cervical parts contain four branches. Ascending palatine artery. Tonsillar branch. Submental artery and glandular branch. Ascending palatine artery. This artery passed superiorly between the styloglossus and stylopharyngeus. It divides close to the levator veli palatini muscle into two branches. One branch pierces the superior pharyngeal constrictor, in order to reach the auditory tube and the palatine tonsil. Other branch runs with the levator veli palatini and passes over the superior pharyngeal constrictor in order to supply the soft palate. Tonsillar branch. This branch ascends between styloglossus and the medial pterygoid muscle, before piercing the superior pharyngeal constrictor to reach the palatine tonsil. Next one is submental artery. This branch runs on the inferior aspect of the chin. 
This is the largest of the cervical branches of the facial artery. The branch is given off just as the facial artery through the submandibular gland. The artery supplies the muscle surrounding this region, and the skin over the submental area. Glandular branches. These are three to four large branches that supply the submandibular salivary gland, as well as some structures that are found nearby i.e. the lymph nodes and int egument.